hell of a thing. Here we are, it's called war. I don't give a damn what they say it is in the media. Three individuals serving as reservists in the armed forces. They are now dead because of a very confusing drone attack where according to the narrative, the drone was not shot down that did this because they thought it was an American drone. Let's put up the victims per the AP, an enemy drone killed three American troops and wounded dozens of others in Jordan. May have been confused with an American drone returning to the US installation. Two US officials said Monday, according to the Defense Department, the three soldiers that were killed in the drone strike were Sergeant William Jerome Rivers, 46, of Carrollton, Georgia. You have Specialist Kennedy Layden Sanders, 24, of Waycross, Georgia. And also Specialist Brianna Alexandria Moffitt, 23, of Savannah, Georgia. As the enemy drone was flying in a low altitude, according to the report, a US drone was returning to the small desert installation known as Tower 22 and may have been let pass by mistake. According to a preliminary report cited by the officials who were not authorized to comment and assisted on anonymity. As a result, there were no efforts to shoot down the enemy drone. They hit the outpost early Sunday morning. One of the trailers where troop sleep sustained the brunt of the strike, while surrounding trailers got limited damage from the blast and flying debris. Officials said that the 34 of the 34 wounded soldiers, most had cuts, bruises, traumatic brain injuries, and similar wounds. 80 Eight, excuse me, eight were medically evacuated. And the most seriously hurt service member is in critical but stable condition. The preliminary conclusion was first reported by the Wall Street Journal. Explanation for how the enemy drone evaded US air defenses on the installation came as the White House said Monday, it's looking, it's not looking for war with Iran, even as President Joe Biden vows retaliatory action. The Democratic administration believes Tehran has a was behind the strike. There's a story there, I'm getting to it in a minute. The brazen attack, which the Biden administration blames on Iranian-based proxies. Now understand what they're doing. They're saying Iranian-based proxies. So they're not really blaming it on Iran. This is going to be a point of contention here in the narrative. This is the spin. They call it Iranian-based proxies, okay? Sometimes they will say the terminology Iranian supported or backed, okay? All right, keep that in your hat. Uh, according to the report, adds another layer of complexity to an already tense media situation as the Biden administration tries to keep the Israel Hamas war, Hamas war uh, from expanding into a broader regional conflict already there. It's called psychological warfare. The president and I will not tolerate attacks on the US forces, and we will take all necessary actions to defend, yeah, to defend the US and our troops. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said Monday as he met with the Pentagon, with NATO Secretary General Stoltenberg. Uh, Iran on Monday uh, denied it was behind the attack at all. There's more. Quote, these claims are made with specific political goals to reverse the realities of the region. Iran state run are in a news agency quoted foreign ministry spokesperson Nasir Kanani as saying, Iran uh, regularly denies involvement in attacks linked back to it through the militias 
According to the report, it arms these militias across the wider Mid East. Once again, that's according to the report. Republicans have naturally created the politics domestically, laid blame on Biden for doing too little to deter Iranian militias, which have carried out some 150 attacks on US troops in the region since the start of this war. Biden's response to these attacks has been disorganized and effective and weak. Republican National Committee spokesperson said in a statement, now more Americans have lost their lives because of Biden's incompetence. Now, naturally, um, the, po- the political game is going to play out domestically no matter what, but let's go to cause and effect. Um, according to the Pentagon, they're not going to tolerate attacks on American soldiers. However, according to the American soldiers, they've been under attack for roughly six months. This is the first time the enemy forces who have been attacking them due to our domestic foreign policy. Those forces have been fighting these wars or these battles. There's combat happening. Now, what is war? First of all, according to the Constitution, only Congress can enact articles of war. However, damn near every president has violated that constitutional mandate. Let's make it simple. This is what war is, killing people and blowing things up. That's it, that's what it is. Damn what they say on paper, damn what they say in a press release. This is war. Now, the retaliatory dynamic, you don't want more life to be lost. There's no need for it. This typically happens because of our fragmented and schizophrenic international foreign policy. People are dying. There's an opportunity at actual remedy, but we are here. Now, I don't think Biden is going to go to war with Iran over the three dead soldiers. It's my belief. It doesn't mean other things won't happen. But the reality is you're not dealing with cause and effect. You're dealing with effect and effect. If you go tit for tat at this point, you're dealing with effect and effect. The cause is the international policies of America in foreign occupation, all right? That's your actual cause which creates a lot of this effect. Now, are they going to simply deal with the effect or are they going to deal with the cause to save actual lives and have a better path forward on this planet? Sharon, thoughts here. Um, They're not gonna deal with the cause, Dr. Ritchie. Yeah. They're not gonna deal with the cause. And um, I believe the Republicans called, uh, and I understand where it's coming from. You said disorganized, ineffective and weak. I um I can agree with that unless they're backing allies in certain situations and then they're they're very forceful and they mm-hmm. come out unequivocally um but that's not the case and I don't I don't know that if the color of the victims here would change anything I, I don't think it would but it doesn't help when yeah. we are sitting in Georgia and these soldiers are dead and no they're not going to deal with the cause, they're going to affect effect, yeah. as you said. Yep, uh, and the family, they're heartbroken. Remember, these were reservists, Sharon. Um, <sighs> they expected their family members to travel, come back like they do every other time. Uh, they have to go for a brief stint uh, and they come back, but uh, they are the casualties now. All right, we'll bring you updates as it comes.